Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, the Corvette is behind us yet again. And today we'll be working on the Corvette, well, kind of a continuation of last week's video where we're we'll be working on a part for the car. But unfortunately, we're not ready just to put those parts in the car just yet. And what are we working on today? Well, today we're we'll be working on the seats yet again. Now you guys might be wondering, well, you've already kind of put the safety harness clips in, you've put those GM parts in and all that, but the one thing we didn't do was actually do the safety harnesses. So today we're gonna to be introducing the safety harnesses, the racing harnesses that we're gonna be using on the car, as well as kind of go over some updates for the seats. And so the harness that we're gonna be going with is from Schroth Racing. I believe that's the enunciation of it. It could be Schroth, but I'm pretty sure it's Schroth. That is what the manufacturer said. And the part numbers are 2001 and, I'm sorry, 20,001 and the other side was 25,001. So what include, what's included in this harness kit is actually your, you know, your shoulder harness. So here's one, I believe these are three inches wide. So here's one of the shoulder harnesses. Here's the other shoulder harness again, you know, three inches wide or so. Then you've got your lap belt. So I've actually kind of already taken this apart. So here's one side of the lap belt with your uh, cam lock buckle type setup. Here's the other side, you know, the other side of the lap belt. And then on the bottom here, you actually see a, another slot for another belt. Well, that belt setup, I unfortunately do not have. Basically what we ordered was, I believe they call it a sub harness, a sub strap, whatever it's called. Basically the way this setup is, I believe they call it the formula style, where you actually kind of sit on the belt and then, you know, you pull the belt, that sub harness up under your legs and snaps and clips in to the very bottom of this harness cam lock. So unfortunately that's on back order. It's gonna be on back order for like up to three months because the manufacturer Schroth, you know, with the whole global issue going on right now, everything is shut down and they did not have those in stock. So I don't know when the sub harnesses, the sub belt, when those will come in. So we won't show you that installed today, but we'll give you the picture of how this is gonna work. So now that we've kind of gone over everything here, the one feature of this belt system that I really like is actually these clip-in harnesses right here. You know, the, this clip for the lap belt, this clip for the lap belt. Those sub belts that we were just talking about will also have those. And all of those belts that we were just talking about will clip actually into these Bray Kraus mounts that we put in uh, last week. So the install on these harnesses is gonna be super simple with those mounts that we, we put in last week. So basically, you're gonna clip it in like that. Your belt will clip in like that. And then for the other side of the lap belt, you know, we'll just take this harness and clip it in like that. All right, so now that we have the lap belt properly installed, we can just slide it into the Cam lock, that's good. Obviously, this needs to be adjusted or like way, like way, way, way far out. Now that we have the lap belts installed, I actually just went ahead and fed the shoulder harnesses through the slot in the GT seat like we were talking about. Now this side is gonna be, it has this webbing in it. Basically, this is the anti-submarine part of the harness to where if you do get an accident, this, sewn piece right here you see how it's real thick well, that's actually why it's kind of sliding down because it weighs a bunch but basically if you get an accident this will rip and this will be the anti-submarine part of the harness and uh, this is what basically will save you so we can go ahead and clip these in so basically these will go ahead and snap in like that and then your other one will snap in like this there you go. So basically you have your shoulder harnesses, your lap belts and all that plugged right in and you should be good to go. And uh, this is gonna look kind of messy, but that's just, like I said, this is weighted down with that anti-submarine mesh and that's kind of why everything's looking out of whack. Plus, look how, look how far this is pulled out. We obviously need to adjust a couple things, but. Now the last thing I wanna show you was actually the back. And if you guys look, the shoulder harnesses actually have that same clip. You know, the same clip in that we're using on the brake cross mounts down here. Now that we've shown you those clip in for the shoulder harnesses, you know, we're actually not gonna be using that with the RSD roll bar slash harness bar, whatever you wanna call it, in the back of the Corvette. The Corvette does not have any 
specific clips or holes or mounts for the harnesses. It's just that kind of, you wrap the harness around the roll bar and then you basically tighten it. You adjust it to the length that you need and you're good to go. So they do sell some like wraps and mounts and stuff for that. But like I said, we're basically just gonna be wrapping the bars, you know, those that, that shoulder harness around the bars behind the seat. So basically when those sub harnesses, that sub strap comes in, you basically will have the sub harness mounted first, then you'll have your lap belt, and then we're basically gonna have the same thing on the other side of the seat. You'll have that sub strap first, then you'll have the lap belt clipped into both the, you know, the brake cross mounts like we've talked about. That sub harness is a triangle shaped. You'll sit down, you pull up on that harness, It'll click into the bottom of the seat belt harness cam lock assembly here and you'll be good to go. So this will basically be a bolt-in safety harness that has a six, it's, I believe they call it a six point safety harness. You'll have the, you know, that sub strap, you'll have the lap belt straps, and then you'll have your shoulder straps. Therefore you get your six, six mounts or six straps. And yeah, so that'll be it for the seats. Let me go ahead and pull the other seat up and we'll show you a finished picture. And there you go, we have both seats finished up. The seats are actually backwards. This is the driver's seat, that's the passenger seat, but you guys get the picture. You know, you'll have your shoulder harnesses coming through, your lap harnesses coming through, you know, on the side, and then the sub harness underneath that. Same thing on driver's seat, shoulder, lap, sub harness. And there you go, that's basically your finished shot of the safety harnesses from Shroth. Now I'll try to provide you guys an update on when we get those sub harnesses. I'll probably just include it in a future video. So, so that's pretty much gonna be it for the safety harness part of this video. Now I did wanna update you on the seats themselves. You know, I think this is probably like the third or fourth seat video that we've done. I didn't mean to drag this project out this long, which is kind of what happens. But basically, you know, we talked about earlier that we we're, you know, backlogged with the, the sub harness. You know, I have no idea when those are going to come. I already ordered these adapter harnesses that go from the C6 to C7 seats. Those are also backlogged as well. I ordered them three weeks ago. You know, I talked with the guy, the manufacturer. Haven't gotten them yet, you know, so we're backlogged on that. So these seats are ready to go in. I just don't have the parts for the adapter harness. And unfortunately, I can't plug these in. I could probably like try to, you know, play games with the pans and try to move the seats around, but I don't want to be doing that. Like I'm, I'm gonna have to wait until those adapter harnesses come in till we can finally do the install on these seats. But you know, once that comes in, you know, hopefully everything will go in smooth, everything works, and uh, we should be good to go. So I just wanted to provide you guys a real quick update, you know, on everything going on with the seats. And hopefully we get those adapter harnesses in soon and we can, you know, go ahead, rip the stock C6 seats out, plug these in, you know, plug the adapter harnesses and be good to go. But like I said, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. One more thing before we go, you guys might question, you know, the seat harnesses, the slots in the back of the seat for them and, you know, are they wide enough? Are they high enough, you know, to work with the roll cage and all that? At this point of the install, I am honestly not sure. I can't really bolt the seats in and make sure everything's gonna line up properly. Now, if they don't work out, we've been talking about this since day one. You know, the long-term plan is to eventually do the competition seat back upgrade. The competition seats are a little bit taller, a little bit wider, and it moves this kind of opening from here to like up here, basically like here and here. So basically moves it up kind of like, probably like two or three inches in each direction. And I know for sure that you can use safety harnesses with the competition seats. I've been seeing people use them, you know, since the C7 basically came out. So that is a concern, I know, but we'll address that in the future, you know, if that actually becomes a problem. You know, like I said, when I first bought these seats, I basically bought them just for mock-up, the, the initial install. And if it does eventually come down to where we need to order those seat backs, we'll go ahead and do that, order the upgrade kit, and go from there. So... That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys wanna see the seat updates, the actual install, you know, all that stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your bell notifications. That way you guys know when we finally get these C7 seats installed into our C6. And if you guys wanna help support the channel, I'll try to have links to those harnesses down below. If I can't find the links, I'll include a part number. That way you guys can find them that way. And also check out our website, bonecrusherss.com. Thanks guys, have a great one. Yeah.